What's up guys and welcome back to Emacs USA and in today's video I'm gonna go over a few different models that Emacs has to offer and which one's kind of best for you guys to purchase are you a first-time buyer or are you more of an intermediate pilot and you want to go to the next level so let's go ahead and hop right into this video now the first thing I want to mention is on our website we have an educational link if you go to Emacs USA you'll see it right at the top it'll say EDU and you can go there and it says starting into FPV and it kind of breaks these models down into levels for you and the first model I want to talk about here is the Emacs easy pilot so if you're just starting out in drones or FPV flying you're gonna to want to go with this model this model runs on a one cell battery and it has a couple of cool different features and the first one I want to talk about is altitude hold and that makes it really easy for a first-time flyer to fly this around no problem because they don't have to worry about throttle management too much they can just set their throttle or their height where they want it and this thing will basically just hold itself there and you can fly it around at that height. And also with the altitude hold, you're gonna have a mode that enables this to fly off of one stick. So you'll be able to fly this around your house no problem, just using your right stick to move right and left, forward and backwards, and it has a mix built in. So it makes it really easy and docile for somebody new starting out. Now with all that being said, once you get more advanced on this drone, you can go ahead and flip out of that one stick command mode and give it more of a natural drone feel. So you'll have your yaw and throttle on your left stick and your roll and pitch on your right stick. So you'll be able to advance with this as you become a better pilot. Now, as you gradually get better and want to advance from your Emacs Easy Pilot, and you're looking for something with a bit more performance or something you can race indoors, you're gonna wanna move up to our Tiny Hawk 2 model. And this thing runs on a one or two cell battery. And this is gonna be programmed with three modes. You're gonna have your angle and horizon mode, which is your auto level or your level assist. So if you start to get into trouble, you can just let go of the right stick and this thing will level itself out for you and you can regain control and keep cruising around. And once you start to advance with this, you can flip it into rate mode and that's gonna give you full manual control with no level assist at all. And that's gonna allow you to do things like flips and rolls. Now, if you're thinking about flying more outdoors or in big open areas, you're gonna to wanna to move from the Tiny Hawk 2 over to our Tiny Hawk 2 race or our Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle. And both of these drones fly on a two cell battery and they're also gonna come pre-programmed with the three modes as well, angle, horizon, and rate mode. And these drones have great performance and great power to weight ratio. And depending on if you wanna race or if you wanna freestyle is kind of which one you're gonna to wanna to pick. If you wanna do more flips and rolls, go with the freestyle. If you wanna race and go fast and go through some gates, I would definitely go with the Tiny Hawk 2 race. And last but not least is our Nano Hawk. And this is gonna be for that pilot that's maybe transferring out of that beginner stage that's looking for a little bit more power, a little bit more performance, and maybe you're even considering racing locally at some Tiny Whoop races. I would definitely go with the Nano Hawk. It's the lightest drone that Emacs has created coming in at 20 grams. It gives you unparalleled power to weight ratio and performance. So you're gonna be cruising with this thing. So that's why I kind of recommend it for that person that's moving out of the beginner stage into a more intermediate or expert level. I would definitely go with the Nano Hawk. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you out and kind of deciding which direction you want to go with our micro line of drones. And if you guys have any suggestions or any questions about any of these drones, make sure to put them in the comments below. I'll make sure to read those and try to get back to you. And make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell. That way you guys are staying up to date on videos like this. But until the next one, guys, I got to figure out which drone I want to fly. This, this one. Uh...